All right, guys, we are out on the boat. Oh yeah, welcome back to day, this is technically day three, because we're counting the day I flew in because we fished. So, uh, Kevin is prepping some uh, salmon for cut bait. Yep. We got herring and sitting in this absolutely wonderful green slime. It's the specialty cocktail. The specialty cocktail for uh, catching big fish. Um, fly dudes are going conventional today. Back to the roots. Um, I'm actually really excited about this. I used to go deep sea fishing all the time with my dad and my little brother. So we're just gonna be jigging for rockfish, halibut, link cod, whatever wants to eat this stuff. So um, stay tuned. We're gonna be, we should be able to get into a couple fish today. So it'll be cool. Okay, so we have a full herring, full chunk of herring. Oh. I either just hit a rock or got a grab. Got a full chunk of herring on and then some king salmon. Just bouncing on the bottom. Pulling up, nice and mm -hmm. nice and simple. Yeah. Just give her some good jigs. Hopefully, we're about to get into some fish. So. Okay. Crush him. Oh. You on him? Dang. Oh, is that ready? Oh. Let it go back down. Monster red snapper. Holy cow, dude. What in the hell? That is a mondo. Is that that's not a that canary, is, is a it? beast. That's not a canary, is it? No, that's a that's a yellow eye. Okay. Should we lift him and send him in? Yeah. Can. Grab the holy <laughs> that's freaking huge. <laughs> Look at that thing. That, that is a that beast. would be yummy. Dude, that thing is a mondo. Good job, man. Woo! <laughs> that fish right there is probably close to 100, 125 years old, probably. Are you serious? Yep. Holy cow. The yellow eyes go to, they live to 150 years old. That's unreal. That is a beast. So, you can lift these guys right there. Their mouths are lippable. Oh, dude, that's probably a 10 pound fish or bigger. He's just that munching on that thing. thing. Look at that thing. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> what a pig. Dang, dude. This one, what way? This way. Oh man, look at that fish. Oh. That's gonna be good eating. Heck yeah. Okay. Kevin's on a good one here. We were like, wind picked up, and we've been uh, trying to figure out how we're gonna get down. And 
And as we're dragging, this thing just gets annihilated. Well, that should be uh, something interesting. Is it? Oh, big red again. Oh my god, that's bigger than the one I caught. <laughs> Dude. Is it bigger? I can't tell. No, it's on the sand too. Look at that thing. That's another one of those, another trophy sized red. Oh, there's a squid on him, dude. He just spit it up. He was spitting up no squid. Way. No way. That's so sick. So, with rockfish, when you're pulling them up and out, their uh, their swim bladder, when you pull them up into the out of the water column, they start uh, air starts to form because there's less pressure, and so that's why his belly was sticking out of his mouth. But dang, dude, that is a pig. And these fish will not be released because we are going to eat them. Look at that thing! <laughs> Holy cow! Hold him at me a little bit. Oh, what a mondo. Nice. Dude, that's so sick. Now they're eating big yellow eye. Yeah. Dang, look at that mouth. Then this right here, he spat this thing up. That is, is a, so great. It's an octopus, that's actually. Bait. Is that a squid? Or not? That's, that's, that's a, a squid. That's a squid. Look at that, he's spinning it up. That's perfect bait right there. So <laughs> dope, dude. And we can only keep one of these a year, correct? Yeah, each, each. each of us. So we got our two. We just got our quota. Back to back. That's our year quota right there on those bad boys. So couldn't be more pumped on that. Woo! Okay, so we caught two fish. Um, we were going to stay out and just catch a couple more, but the wind's picking up pretty heavy. We're in a 14-foot skiff. Um, definitely not smart to stay out uh, and do anything dangerous. So what we're going to do is we're going to head in. If the wind dies down, the wind dies down. If it doesn't, we got two rad fish that we're gonna be able to cook up tonight. So um, we're gonna head in and I'll see you guys on the dock. Okay, so Kevin's getting started playing these fish up. These are absolutely massive for this species of fish. Trophies, some would even say. So, couldn't be uh, any more stoked about them. Kevin, how you feel? I feel like these fish are Pretty insane. They're pretty we big. We did pretty dude. good. They're pretty big. Fish tacos tonight, son. Fish tacos. Yeah. Uh, so we saw some whales on our way in. Stopped a little bit. The wind kind of kind of held up a second, and so we started uh, fishing again to no avail. Saw some whales. Tried to hunt those guys down. They they uh, sounded before we could. Uh, before we could get to them, but um, yeah, so it was cool. So we are now uh, gonna go head home, pick up Robin from uh, work, and make some fish tacos. Robin, how do you feel about fish tacos? Fish tacos sound fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we're back. And we have our necessary ingredients. Cilantro. Limes are a dollar each in Alaska. <laughs> That's garbage. Those are like, I don't know, there's something, but that's not, that's way too much money for a lime. And, and so we bought lime juice. They're extremely tiny. They were the tiniest limes. limes. They were undersized, overpriced limes, which is garbage. So, so we got the so alternative. We got the alternative <laughs> lime, we got just straight lime juice, because we're tacky. Got, so lime juice, cilantro, sour cream, that'll be like sauce, flour tortillas, guacamole, cabbage, for like a nice little slaw on there. Some fresh cut red onion. It's about to go down. Let's get the fish out. So, <laughs> sour cream, lemon or lime, cilantro, salt, pepper, uh, cabbage for the tacos. Robin's on rice duty. Rice duty. And, and crying duty. Because I'm fat. <laughs> oh my god, you gotta cut that out. <laughs> I'm gonna cut that out. <laughs> And uh, yeah, so it's taking shape. We need to start prepping the fish soon too. Okay, we got our fish cut in a nice little.
taco pieces, some fresh onion, red onion. Um, throw this in the pan with some olive oil and some lime. Very simple, salt and pepper on this. Maybe some Lowry's in a second, but we'll see. <laughs> Tell me that doesn't sound good. All right, guys, this is that same snapper. So tasty. It just looks so good. You can make some tacos out of it. A little bit of Spanish rice. I think me and Robin are stoked about this. I'm so pumped. All right, let's go to the dinner table. Oh, we're here. Welcome to dinner. <laughs> Anyways, we got Spanish rice, onion, cabbage, yummy sauce, cilantro, guac. This fish. Oh, shoot. Whatever. Let's go ahead and taste it. Oh! <laughs> Nothing is burning. The fish is so good. So good. Let's see, bringing over some tortillas. And we're gonna grub. Thanks for watching, you guys. That was uh, caught today, cooked today, eaten today. We're gonna have some yummy tacos, so stay tuned tomorrow. Um, we're going, taking a ferry tomorrow, so we may not be doing a ton of fishing, but it'll be a little bit of traveling and uh, scouting. And then the next four, three or four days, we're gonna be deep in the bush. Fishing for steelhead. Uh, it's raining soon. Sorry about that beeping. Where the fuck is it? <laughs> it's raining soon, so fish are gonna be in the rivers. They're gonna be a little bit swollen, but we're gonna be able to get into some stuff. And where we're going is supposedly on fire right now. So pretty stoked about that. So stay tuned, and uh, thanks for watching today. Like and subscribe.